Larry, Los Angeles, the great KVC. Quickly, go. Hi, Mark. Um, America has been stuck on stupid for the past 10 years, primarily because of the failed Bush tax cuts. We've just seen zero jobs created. But some re- for some reason, you Republicans have been advocating extend those failed tax cuts, those voodoo tax cuts. And when they did, you, you claimed that it was going to actually cause jobs to be created. Jobs well, it actually even- did. And as a matter of fact, not only do I support the Bush tax cuts, I don't think they went far enough. I think That's- all the parasites should be pulled from the public teeth. Uh, I think all the people who are, are benefiting from the welfare state... Uh, many of them should be thrown off the... Uh, I want to hold on to you, Larry. Uh, many of them have no moral right to my income either. But let's have this discussion, Larry. This is good. We'll be right back. Back to our friend Larry in Los Angeles, KBC. So, Larry, I'm just curious. What do you do? Are you allowed to tell me? No, I'm not. I don't trust Republicans. Now you sound like an ass. Did you want to have a discussion or not? It has nothing to do with what I do. I get it. You know what? I'm going to talk to you a second. Guys like you, you don't trust Republicans who make a broad statement like that. Do you realize how stupid you sound? They give us when you when you came on the air, genius, and you announced everything you announced, and you were going to say, I was prepared to have a discussion with you. Here's what you do on November on that first Wednesday in November, right? You go to the voting place where you vote. All right, bye bye. Obviously. Uh, it's the first Tuesday, but we want to make sure Larry shows up just outside the nick of time. I don't trust Republicans. I'm guessing that somehow he's on the federal dole. That's why he didn't want to reveal himself to me. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I start from a very basic proposition. That my property belongs to me and your property belongs to you. That I work to sustain myself and my family pursuing my own interests and desires as you do. And yet I have a feeling that you and I are helping to pay for Larry and other people who think that somehow they have a God-given right to your labor. That's one angry man there. I don't trust Republicans. What do you do? What does that have to do with trusting Republicans? But there are people out there, and there are millions of them, that think that they have an ownership right to what you produce. When you go to work every day, or when you save or when you purchase an asset, that somehow they not only have an ownership right in what you have created, what you have purchased in your property, what you have earned through your own hard work, but that they have a right to tell you how to live, what kind of house you can have, what kind of car you can have, what kind of food you can eat, what temperature should be in your house, the light bulbs and everything else. This is the mindset. It is utterly totalitarian. Larry is totalitarian. What are the Bush tax cuts? Let's even put Bush's name aside. Tax cuts? How can it possibly be that tax rates that were put in place in 2001 and 2003, frankly, are still spoken about as tax cuts? It's the tax rate that we each pay. We haven't had tax rate cuts in over eight years. And yet they still keep calling them the Bush tax cuts. They are the tax rates we pay. And the totalitarians, they speak this way. So at all times, they are claiming that they have a right to more and more of your labor, more and more of that of the property and wealth that you have earned for yourself and your family. Larry thinks he has a God-given right to steal from you because he's been told that since he was five years old. He's been told that in school. He's been told that in whatever it is that he does now, which he would not reveal.